Jola, enegum nandi. Nyegeleni. I have a freedom that I'm enjoying right now. Nyegeleni. I don't have to share my personal life with you, but I think it's January. I just need to keep it so leaves. Her heart was gone a long time ago. I am now going through the processes to ensure that my kids well-being for the rest of their lives. They don't need to suffer like I did. So that they are good. Ne? So ikamalam ikipeni what it has to do with him. Ikamalake ikipeni what it has to do with me. Cuz I have moved on a couple of times. I missed my 20s. I'm catching up. <laughs> ne? So, it's January. Now that it's all out the way, to all of you who screen grabbed it, trust me, I won't delete it. I'm going to let it live here because I feel everybody needs to see it. Eating seven zeni. Eating is kuli se food. Hey loves and welcome back to yet another TikTok train segment with me, Lokazi. Kage currently trading on to the would be a black coffee's ex wife. They have separated for over six years now, and the baby mama or ain't Limbali. And she has basically decided uh, to officially respond to haters who came for her after a black coffee's Instagram re released an official statement about his plane accident. Now, of course, the statement it was revealed that uh, the DJ suffered severe a blows to the body during an emergency landing on the travel accident when he was of course going to a gig in Mardal Plata. Now of course you guys the attention quickly moved away from a uh, black coffee straight to ex-wife Yake uh, uh, It did happen even way before Enkembali decided to post on her Instagram account and people were just pointing fingers stating that it must be her. She has probably orchestrated it. She has probably done something Meanwhile, but people were just like, uh uh. Kukona is Sandra, same Venek, we are young, Elento, Ayen, the Kilen. Now, Enklembali unfortunately ruined it by going as far as posting this on her Instagram stories. Uh, and the caption was, This is the best thing I've ever seen or the best news I've ever heard this year. And people were just like, Tada, there it is. There we knew Ukoti. <laughs> In fact, Bali, Ufuna Ukbulala e ex husband yake just because uh Ufuna Imali is opuma is Imali is is opuma so that as Ozika as Sulele Apake e cop kesana. I understand. So U Bali finally um decided to address this entire situation. Go Instagram via a video you guys. So I'm next I'll just insert the rest of the video and what she was basically saying thank you guys so much for tuning in i will most definitely see you guys on the next one bye and i support my kid and i call my older kid support and i tell my mom mom please do the right thing please call the family because that's what we do um and a couple of days go by and then a public statement comes out so I'm going about my day as per normal, posting funny, cute little tweets and writing little captions on top. And I don't know what's going on and I continue with my life it, because I'm having a great time. Dugu Dugu, I get a call from a journalist. Hey, Twitter is bullying you. How? Oh, but on Twitter bullies already, right? And I listen in and I say, listen, off the record, I don't take Twitter seriously. You shouldn't take Twitter seriously either. The majority of the people, they love to create drama. I'm well, thank you so much for checking on me and the kids. Life continues. Ibo, Mina, ngentliziam, ngusendi email, ngitiyo, sorry. Ngese upole. Ne? Because my mama taught me that way. Ah, do I not get an email saying I... Stop pretending like you care. And I decided to do this today. And my PR is going to be on me. <laughs> I'm in trouble with my PR. I'm in trouble with my mom. I'm in trouble with my lawyers. I'm in trouble with a lot of people right now. But I am so tired. 
I'm so tired of being the bigger person. In case you guys haven't noticed, I am living my life. In case you guys haven't noticed, when I said I wanted a divorce, I wanted a divorce because there were two children by two different mothers. Ne? And I made the decision after a lot of thinking, even pre and post the, the whole situation, there was some shit happening. Ne? And I haven't said a word. I have only reacted to the things that have been done to me. I'm not going to delete this. So to those of you who feel like they want to screenshot it and be the first to get the news, it's not about news for me. I have my freedom. Stop taking it away. Yes, I may not be divorced just as yet. And many little petty things could be used for the divorce case, which is, by the way, in November. So you're free to come to court, all of you, and just see the truth come out, right? This is so unfortunate because I have two beautiful little boys who I'm constantly trying to protect from the situation in my silence. But niapora, nonke. To those of you who follow me, to try and find something I am saying about a particular nigga. I don't care for him. I care for his well-being because I have children with him and I care for my children. And that is why I sent an email saying, my Lord, this is crazy. Get better. I did it for my children first. You never want to see a human being go through that or lose their life while they still have children. But it's annoying how I'll get messages. Eh, how do you feel now Black Coffee has a newborn baby? I don't care. It's his life. I think everyone needs to start understanding at this point. I left for a reason. And women take long to make the decision to leave. And it took long for me. Do I wish him well? All the time. And that's why every time he does well, I will egoless say congratulations however it's received it's none of my business i do the right thing because my mama taught me better than that